He wrote philosophical letters in a style compared to Plato's and composed cynic epistles. He authored philosophical tragedies and humorous poems, advocating for asceticism and simplicity. His name is Crates of Thebes. In the ancient city of Athens, there lived a philosopher by the name of Crates of Thebes. Renowned for his wit and wisdom, Crates was not only a thinker but also a writer and poet. One of his most famous jests was his insistence on the simplicity of meals, particularly his preference for lentils over extravagant dishes. He believed that luxury and excess were the root causes of unrest and rebellion in a society. This humorous notion of Crates soon became the subject of satire, as depicted in the book Deepna Sophisti by Athenius. In this book, a group of cynics gather for a meal only to be served course after course of lentil soup, mocking Crates' preference. Crates' jest, though seemingly light-hearted, carried a deeper philosophical message about the dangers of indulgence and the importance of simplicity. Beyond his witty anecdotes, Crates was also a prolific writer. He penned letters on philosophical subjects, which were compared to the style of Plato, showcasing his intellectual prowess. Additionally, he wrote philosophical tragedies and smaller poems known as, Games. His writings often reflected his cynic beliefs, promoting a simple and ascetic way of life. Crate's legacy as a philosopher and poet continues to inspire thinkers to this day. His emphasis on simplicity and his satirical take on excess serve as reminders of the importance of balance and self-reflection in a world often clouded by materialistic pursuits. Crate's teachings and writings shed light on the true nature of reality, urging individuals to see beyond the fog of societal expectations and embrace a more authentic existence. Crates, a philosopher born in Thebes around 365 BC, had an extraordinary journey that defied the norms of his time. Despite being the heir to a vast fortune, he chose to renounce his wealth and lead a life of cynic poverty in Athens. This decision baffled many, but Crates remained steadfast in his pursuit of a simpler existence. Word of Crates' unconventional lifestyle spread, and he soon caught the attention of Diogenes of Sinope, a renowned philosopher. Although the exact nature of their relationship remains uncertain, Crates referred to himself as, a fellow citizen of Diogenes, who defied all the plots of envy. It seems that Crates found inspiration in Diogenes' defiance of societal expectations. Crates' physical appearance was unique, with a lame leg and hunched shoulders. Despite these deformities, he was warmly welcomed wherever he went, earning him the nickname, the door opener. People admired his cheerful disposition and embraced his presence with honor. One person captivated by Crates' philosophy was Hipparchia of Maronea, the sister of one of his students. Hipparchia fell in love with Crates and his way of life, rejecting her privileged upbringing to be with him. Their marriage was a testament to mutual respect and equality, a rarity in those times. As part of their cynic shamelessness, they even engaged in sexual intercourse in public, challenging societal norms. Crates' influence extended beyond his personal life. He became the teacher of Zeno of Sidium, who would go on to develop Stoic philosophy. Zeno held Crates in high regard, and many accounts of Crates' teachings have come down to us through Zeno's writings. Crates also had other notable pupils, including Metricles, Monimus, and his own brother, Pasicles. As Crates grew older, he returned to Thebes, where he was present during the exile of Demetrius Valerius in 307 BC. He lived a long and fulfilling life, passing away at an advanced age and finding his final resting place in Boeotia. Crates' philosophy of embracing simplicity, defying societal expectations, and prioritizing inner values is still relevant today. His story teaches us the importance of questioning societal norms and finding our own path to happiness and fulfillment. In a world that often values material possessions and external achievements, Crates reminds us to focus on what truly matters, our relationships, our values, and our inner peace. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.